How do you entertain the kids on those summer road trips? Oh, it can be tough, can't it? Well, Emily Blodgett is here. She is the bus stop mama, and she's got some great ideas for us. Hi, Miss Emily. Hi. Okay, and they're not including electronics, so you've got some different ideas. We're going to start with those back-of-the-seat organizers. What should we put in it for the kids? Okay, so these things are really cool. And listen, there is a time and a place for electronics, but it can't be the whole time and the whole place because it makes the kids, it makes them go crazy, and it makes us uh -huh. as parents go crazy. So we went on a road trip recently, and we were more prepared than ever on this one. You go, we're girl. Great backseat organizers. And they, they've got, you know, room to store everything. You can put an iPad in here if you want. Tons of storage all over. Pencils, water bottles, snacks. Everything can fit in here. And each child has their own, and it just keeps it in one place. So if they even, like my kids would rotate seats every once in a while. So if you got to sit in the middle row and whatever. And they would just pick up their stuff and move it. And it was so good. So, so easy. easy. Okay, so that's a good yeah. one. You also have those clipboards that have a little storage in them as well. These are the coolest things ever. Okay, you can get them on Amazon and they open up, you can store their papers in them, cut, you can put pencils in here, put all their stuff. So they've got a nice hard surface while they're driving and then they can put it away and you don't have to look at it. And the best <laughs> thing is, I love not having to look at it. So you, we've got, you can get a, a really great sketch pad or something, but honestly, just computer paper. That's, and if they're younger kids, give them um, coloring papers or whatever you want, the yeah. off stuff that they can put in, but even just blank paper just totally sparks their imagination. It lets them create whatever it is they want. Yeah. Awesome. Just tell them, Hey, draw whatever you see as we're driving down this road of nothing. Just keep exactly. drawing. <laughs> when, we, when, we, when we went um, to Scottsdale for spring break, my, my mom gave the kids a challenge and she said, I want a picture every day. So every day they had to draw a picture of something you've seen the Grand Canyon or this. And it was really cool to see see everything through their eyes. It was really fun. And another great idea for the kids is to do a gift bag, which will make them happy. It's great. You can put in a lot of their favorite things, open it at random times, you know, after they finish the ABC game, the alphabet game, after they, you know, the first rest off, just pick random times for them to open a new gift. And then it makes it really fun and exciting. And we've got lots of great ideas for you for that. One last thing I did want to, to mention is a lot of times kids get really uncomfortable on the trip and parents can't quite figure out why put something underneath their feet. Their, their legs are actually usually getting cut off. The circulation is getting cut off because their feet are short and, um, and, or they're falling asleep and their neck's getting kinked. And, and so we need to, if we can just really pay attention to those things that will help them be more comfortable and which helps mom and dad be more comfortable. Yes. You're making mom and dad's life a lot easier well, so yeah. that there's no fighting on the road trips. At least that's what the goal is. That's what we're hoping. So Emily, if people want to follow you on social media, how can they do so? Uh, under Bus Stop Mama with Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Perfect. Good to see you, Miss Bus Stop Mama. Always good to see you. Thanks, Jenny.